Now we're on to the rope sails for the back of the crankshaft, everybody's favourite. So, first of all, we need to pull out the original sails and then clean up the grooves in there, nice and clean. We've pre soaked the new sails in engine oil for at least an hour, preferably longer. There's a bit of oil in the bag, it's fine. And then we've got to squeeze them and get them in the best we can without cutting any off, any off again because they're exactly the right length if we take any off they'll leak so it's a bit of a, a long drawn out job and once we've got the sail placed in we can use a round edge tool Try and work the seal as deeply into the groove as we can. And we want to try and leave it with just a little bit proud at the edges so that there was something to join up with. If we get it too far down, obviously there'll be a gap and the oil will leak. But if we work it down and press on the end of the seal, we can work it in and slowly get it somewhere near where, the, where it should be is a bit of a job it can take ages to get it right now once we've got the rope seals in the little aluminium grooves we can fit the gasket and then a drop of oil on the surface that the rope seals run on if you notice in there there's a brightened surface that those guys run on and then we need to with the bolts already installed in the aluminium holes, offer up the rope seal parts. And the bottom half, just the same. Put the joining together bolts, the long, the long lengthways bolts, in one at a time. And then we have to squeeze and pull until we get things to join up. It took us quite a while to get everything lined up and the bolt started but once we get nearly together we tighten up the two lengthways bolts first and then the bolts going around 